Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use the return path DRC that's available inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So what we want to check here is for um, return path on next, making sure that the, the associated plane or the closest plane uh, beneath the net is, is clear, there's no voids or breaks in it or anything like that. We also want to make sure that um, if available, we can add a, a like a, a ground stitching via at either end. So every time you put a via down for a, the actual net, you can have a, an associated ground return path via with that. And you can do a DRC check for both. So what we'll do is we'll do this in Constraint Manager, so which we can launch that from the Constraint Manager icon up here, or we can use Setup Constraints Electrical. We'll go into the electrical constraint set routing. Um, so we're actually going to define a specific rule for this. So if we go to the return path, worksheet section. I'm going to create a new rule. So create electrical C set. I'm going to call this return path. And then I'm going to specify some values. So what's my reference net? Uh, it's going to be my ground net. So we'll click OK to that. Reference layers, I can choose either the closest plane, a dual plane, a table where you can go and specify which layers you want to be um, for the named layers that you want. So what return, which layer is going to be for each layer on the board here. Um, I'm just going to leave this as the closest plane. Length ignore, so how much of a clearance or track can I have um, without worrying about it? I'm just going to say let's have a 0.6 of a millimetre. The max pad gaps driving things like um, if I've got a void in a plane around a hole or a via, a pin or a via, what's the maximum gap I'm allowed to have? So again, just 0.6 of a millimetre. And then the max, max stitch via distance is the, the, the furthest away that the via can be from the, the, the via of the net that you're interested in um, before it ports an error. So again, 0.8 of a millimetre here. Once I've driven the rule or created the rule, I'm going to go to the, the net section, net routing, return path. I've actually got a net class here. No, I haven't. Let me go and make a net class quickly. So I'm just going to pick the nets that I'm interested in. These are the five nets that I want to use. So I'm just going to create a class. You don't have to do this. You can actually apply it to the net direct, but I'm just going to make a, uh, a net class to make it a little bit easier. Then I'm going to choose the, the reference electrical C set. So return path. And then that reports effectively my, my five nets. Now currently it's showing these as yellow, which is a good indication that the DRC mode is not enabled. So I can enable this one of two ways. I can just do a right click here and do analysis mode on the yellow tabs, basically the column headers, or I can go to analyze analysis mode, go to the electrical section. And if I scroll to the bottom, there's one called return path. The advantage you're doing it here is there's an information button and it will then give you some, some details about the return path constraint and what you can do with it. So it might be worthwhile having a, this film. Um, so let's just turn the DRC mode on. We'll hit apply and okay. And then we'll just analyze this. And um, we're getting some DRC errors. Um, let's just minim, uh, close Constraint Manager for a minute. And um, what I need to do, because I made a change in Constraint Manager, I just need to update my shapes. So let's go to Display and Status and just update my shapes to Smooth. That's OK. And then if we relaunch Constraint Manager, what we'll see now is we're seeing some DRC errors. So I've got a missing stitching via and I've got some voids crossing on some of the nets on in the layer. So um, let's start off with the stitching via. So we can double click here or we can use right click select. And then if we just minimize or close constraint manager, you'll see effectively it's going to take me to that the, the via that's missing a stitching via. So I get this RP DRC error. Um, so it is physically missing a stitching via. You can see there's a clearance here. So what we can do, let's just resolve this one. If we just uh, if you look at this one, for example, I've got a via here and I've got a ground via. Get the tooltip up showing zero volts. So stitching via here, stitching via here, stitching via here. There's one missing for this one. So let's just do a right click copy. And let's just place, place the via down. Let's just slide it into the, the correct location. There we go. No DRC. DRC disappears. If we then go back to Constraint Manager, um, you'll see all I've got now is the void crossing. So we need to resolve these void crossing errors. So again, we could repeat what I've just done there, do a right click select and take me to the location. Or we can actually use um, the Vision Manager. So if we go to the View menu, there's something called Vision Manager. This is a docked pane. We can take this anywhere onto a second monitor, put it anywhere the docked locations inside the Cadence PCB tools like you can with all the panes. Um, and then I've got a choice, so root vision, placement vision, impedance, DRC, or return path. So let's look at return path. So I can effectively um, set a color for when it meets the constraint. So let's just choose green. If it doesn't meet the constraint, I'm gonna choose red. You can dim unselected nets, which is gonna work the same way it does if you use the shadow mode function. Um, 
which is up um, sorry the shadow mode command is there sorry um, so this is the shadow mode which would toggle things uh, so it's only going to show you the highlighted objects that you want I'm not going to worry about that too much anyway and then I'm just going to modify the selection and pick the nets that I'm interested in just turn the inner layer two off so let's just pick the nets that I'm worried about so you see straight away I've got these going green it's red here it's green along the rest of the track up there it's green all the way down the tracks down the bottom so I've got an issue going on here let's resolve that if we can so let's turn on the associated ground plane and you can see straight away I've got a void in the ground plane that's causing the issue and causing the DRC for me so um, let's just resolve this quickly so we can go to the shape edit mode using slide um, and just to show you this is interactive if I slide this this will physically update so the length of that that void gets bigger let's just slide it all the way across here I'm only now going to one causing the DRC so I could just slide it away here so I've now got none causing the DRC obviously the ideal scenario is you remove this void um, but if I go back to constraint manager now you should see that these are all green I'm good to go and I can carry on with my design